on today's video, the weekly update of the Jumper account is here. In this video, we're gonna go over everything that changed on this account, what it's going to do, what the plans are, what are the things we're aiming at, and show you a little bit of what went down with our Guan Yu wheel, as well as spin 61 times the wheel today. We're gonna go over every single commander sculpture, how we got what we got, how much money we spent if we did, go through the whole bag so you guys can see the difference between last week's and this week's episode. And of course, now we have a playlist where you can go compare the two and see what kind of things have changed on the account as time went on. So sit back, smash a like on the video. YouTube, welcome back to Gecko Gaming. Here's the deal. It's week number two of our tracking of this account. I've officially made now a playlist where you can find every single week's update on what's going on. There's a lot of things happening behind the scenes with this account, which I cannot share yet as I, I, there's dependencies on a bunch of other people. So there are some exciting potential news in the next video about the account, if not the one after that. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool. Before we start though, really quickly, I'm a sponsored content creator, whereas the kingdom enjoy the content, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Let's get that out of the way and let's go. All right, future Gecko here really quickly. Thankfully, this video didn't come out as an hour before it was supposed to po be posted. I, I took it down because a lot's changed. I know you guys have an, a thumbnail and a title that says I migrated, that is not wrong. In the later part of this video, we're gonna, I'm right now recording that section as we speak and we'll talk about that too. So all that you'll see up until a certain point is from Thursday, yesterday, and what we did in order to maintain the, the storyline of this, of this jumper. But later on in the video, you'll get me again and I'll show you the current status. It's been a week exactly since I recorded the last video. In that time, we have gained, uh, well, not exactly a week, I recorded last one on, on Friday, so it's been six days. Since then, we have done a few things on this account. First and foremost, we bought fully bought Call of the Ancient on the stream on Saturday, and the reason for that is because we needed gems for the Guan Yu wheel, which has treated us terribly. The Guan Yu wheel really, 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 really destroyed us. We, we Yesterday on stream, we spun, it was probably one of the worst spins ever uh, we're gonna spin the rest of what we got here and hope and pray we get something better but before we do all that let's go through the bag really quickly and show you some of the updated stuff in here so uh, you have all the resell the gems piling up as we're picking up more gems from this uh, we I believe we used up all of our gems in the last video if I'm not mistaken uh, and so all of this should be new if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember again where we were when it comes to the gems and whatnot. You all can go back to that video and literally look screenshot, take the screen, take a screenshot and go compare the two, right? If you'd like to do that, uh, there is there is a, a nice little growth in the bag. Thankfully, our bag is starting to get to a point where it's like 260 million of this, 200 million of that. So we have a little bit of of resources coming in, which is good. Our speed ups pile is doing all right. It's keep uh, grow, it keeps growing. We have not spent any speed ups. Uh, we spent a little bit of of research speed ups for events and things like that, but we have not spent. Oh, and actually, we did spend a little bit of training ones because we needed to proc courier station a couple times. But this is kind of where we stand right now. At this point, uh, the the account is still growing in in its in what it has in firepower, and it's kind of nice. I'm I'm enjoying it. We picked up a call of the ancient, so now we have all of these available, uh, more of these available, which is nice. I found one of these for 1,500 gems this week in the courier station, and I picked it up. Very good deal. You definitely need those in a lot of them. In terms of equipment, nothing really changed. We picked up a little bit of more materials in boxes. Uh, we did consistently the um, Sunset Canyon every single day, and so all of these refreshed up based on that. Uh, we, we still have these available to open in a future video. We have not bought the VIP shop yet this week. It still needs to go down. We don't have that much change in terms of blueprints departments and things like that. I really didn't go hunting too much or, or got anything really crazy. I think we picked up maybe one silent trial and, and that was about that. When it comes to this area, nothing nothing very new. Uh, legendary commander sculptures right now sit at six, 376. Previously, we had 312 in the last video. That's right, in this week we picked up 64 sculptures and it went as followed. 
We got every single day three sculptures due to VIP, so that was 18 sculptures. We picked up 10 sculptures from winning Ark of Osiris. We got one sculpture from level 50 Lucerne Scroll, which was kind of nice. We got three heads for KVK rewards, which was... <laughs> it is what it is, right? We picked up 10 uh, Rider of History, 10 uh, sculptures out of Rider of History when we unlocked Guan. And from 75 spins of Guan so far, from 75 spins from Guan, uh, or not 75, it needs to be more than that. From the spins from Guan, we picked up another another 10 from the first 75, and then we picked up another 12 after that. And so we ended up with a total of 64 sculptures. Uh, it wasn't bad at all. The 75 spins, 10, 10 uh, heads was for the, um, from the, the the extra rewards and then the 12 had five from the extra rewards and seven that I got from spinning the wheel. So a total of 22 generic sculptures out of the one wheel so far. And uh, yeah, we went up 64 sculptures. Again, Rider of History 10, 22 from the wheel, three heads from KVK rewards, one from Lucerne Scroll level 50, 10 from Ark of Osiris and 18 from the daily three sculptures. We spent $385 on a full call of the ancient pack. And we also spent, I believe, 15 bucks on, yeah, we spent 15 bucks on these marks of the champion for Osiris League. Ooh, I forgot to do that today. Let's go spin the wheel real quick and then talk about things that this account is aiming at. So those legendary commander sculptures, and of course, we gotta go hunt five more barbarians later to, ca to get this. Of course, we wanna get these and all the rewards, right? Good resources, material boxes, always, always wanna get those done. We did not do Silk Road this time around, which is why I don't have rewards out of this. And uh, yeah, that's that's about that. Let's go spin the wheel and then and then see what the future holds. So this account, the plan, oh, okay, we're starting strong. We're starting very strong, but really quickly, one Guan, I wanna very fast remember what we were at before we do this. Uh, Guan currently sits at, well, it was at four, okay? So it sits at five and four. So we have four sculptures, we picked up one. Uh, we spun a total, we got a total of 60 sculptures, including the extra rewards, which are 30 out of the 60. Yeah, that's how bad it was. That is how bad it was. We, we, we literally spun 30 sculptures out of 120 spins. It was abysmal. So we are at four right there, picked up one, and let's keep going now with the fives and hope and pray we get a couple of extra more guans. The plan here is... When that eight gets close, I get I get scared, but you guys know how Gecko Gaming works. We land on the one before the eight almost all the time, or on the one after, that's usually where we where we stand. The plan for this account initially was we're probably gonna stick around K541 for a little bit, see uh, what the, the the good people of Kingdom 541 have in store, what they wanna do, maybe if there's a group of them ooh, that wanna migrate together, or are we staying and rebuilding? That was a sick spin. That was a beautiful spin. Maybe there's still hope for this wheel. Maybe there's still hope for this wheel. But there is a couple of things evolving behind the scenes. Uh, I wanted to I want to stay for three guan wheels to get as many guans as I can out of the deal. Uh, but there is a possibility in which we might have to leave sooner than we anticipated. Two sculptures is not terrible. Uh, there are other there's a couple of other kingdoms that i have some plans with that i might execute on earlier than i expected than than we foresaw uh, i don't really ooh, that's two of those I, i'd rather hit the one before it but that's i can't complain about 45 hours worth of speed ups and three guans right this wheel is definitely treating us better i i, I have i don't know yet okay i can't really reveal any of the <clears throat> there it is baby let's go oh if we landed on it again i would have been Oh my lordy almighty, what? why is this game doing this to me? Oh. Anyway, eight sculptures, baby, let's go. Um, there are a few possibilities as to which where this account is gonna go or stay. I would rather do something with it sooner rather than later. However, if I see that what I, what I uh, that I I do want to stay with the peeps of 541 in the sense of there's a lot of good people here. But I don't know what the future holds, and so and people keep trickling in and out of the kingdom, migrating in, migrating out, and so 
I don't know what the what's gonna happen next, but I can tell you that you might hear news about this account very, very, very soon, even sooner than we expected. And worst case scenario, these are the kinds of spins that I'm used to. Worst case scenario, uh, we'll, we'll just stay spinning wheels and maybe even do another KVK with 541. It's not a bad scenario. It's it's the wor worst possibility out of, the, out of all of all of them just because we just got out of KVK, so it'll take a little bit longer for us to get back in action. For now, the plan remains the same. We want, I'll take the 15, uh, the, four, the 45 hours, that's better than the damn building speed ups. For now, the, the plan still is, is unclear. I want this account to get more action. We are building Guan and we're gonna start building towards infantry equipment and uh, we'll see how we go from there. I am not abandoning the, the cavalry equipment for the record. Anything that hasn't procced yet uh, in terms of a, um, in terms of a special talent, I, do you see this? That's the story of my, of my spins right there. Oh, we need to purchase more gems. Let's go get ourselves a little bit of gems. I actually thought I had enough. Turns out I do not. Thankfully, we can use up a little bit of these and a little bit of that, and instead of purchasing gems, we can just utilize the gems we have. I mean, that's, that's the point of the gems, no? So let's use these real quick and go back to spinning. I completely forgot what we were talking about, so we're just gonna move on. Um, cavalry equipment will still get exp special talented so long as I can get the equipment blueprints. We're gonna keep trying, but I'm also gearing up towards building a sick Guan Yu full suit. Uh, I don't think we're gonna start straight up from the epics because I just don't have that capability in terms of blueprints yet but we'll definitely start building up the blues and green and greens and a little bit of purples and then upgrade as time goes by. This is when we start trying to get a special talented shield. Oof, that's gonna be a little bit of a rough one. Final spin wasn't that amazing. It was actually fairly abysmal towards the end. It just dropped off to what the usual gecko gaming spins look like. And uh, let's go look at the results. We were at four before, and now we have 31. So we spawn, spun 60 times. Uh, and uh, spun 60 times and picked up 27 sculptures, which is not, not, not great. It's not great. It's definitely not great. But it is what it is. We can get that one at least a 5-2 and then uh, either next wheel, go back for him, or we're not going to be here for another wheel. We'll have to wait for his wheel again and uh, try to figure out other ways to get sculptures. At the same time, all of our commanders are progressing in the stream on Wednesday. We opened up all of the legend, all of the gold keys that were on this account, and we almost got Charles Martel expertised. We are literally five sculptures away from expertising Charles Martel, which would be great for my wall defense. And uh, yeah, Alexander building up, doing his thing. The account is currently on sort of idle mode. I forgot to mention someone migrated out and dumped a bunch of resources on me. So shout out Vasto and thank you for, for the resources. Uh, they'll definitely be useful. And we're just grinding at this point. We're trying to figure out what the next move is. There are some very exciting news about this account coming up hopefully soon. And as you can see today, I have yet to do my sunset so we can do them and just see what comes out of this too. Other than that, that's that's the update for this account. Uh, I, I want it to be more active in the sense of more wars and KVKs. If there was a KVK, a kingdom that I knew that a KVK is starting in very soon that I want to be with in that in a KVK, I'm, I might do that. I'm actually considering the possibility of keeping this account around the ooh bingo, around the sixty to seventy million power, so it'll be easy to migrate it around and potentially have it so that it consistently migrates around with different people and different groups to, to keep con always having that those fights and that content, that warring content available. I think that this account within one KVK, maybe two, is gonna pass the big account in terms of kills and it'll definitely be the warrior account while that one will be the uh, garrison account. And so that's at least the plan for now. We got one epic helmet out of that, so that was not the worst day on earth. We haven't trained anything very crazy. Currently, the troop count sits as followed. I had not shown that in the previous video, I believe, and now you can see also our troop count. Uh, we do need to train more tier fours if we wanna go into KVKs, because this is clearly not enough to do much, but the tier five still lead rallies is at least still in a good shape. Well, future Gecko here. Um, 
Yeah, my as you can see, uh, the account kind of looks the same. Maybe the resources changed a little bit. Uh, 217,000 tier fives currently in the hospital and they, they'll be staying there for a little bit. Um, yeah, oh, we're not, we didn't even, we didn't even uh, heal all of them by the looks of it. So whew, there's still a lot to do. But the reason we did that is we had to drop below 55 million power. And that is because we have officially migrated. That is right. We are in K2. Yep, we are in K2. It comes into a full circle. I'm super pumped. Like I used to cover UCS in Ark of Osiris when the first came out. I covered, I believe, their KVK once, if I'm not mistaken. I've always, always really wanted to, to come check out this kingdom. I mean, they do some really, really, really awesome things in here. As a quick example, uh, I looked at their Mightiest Governor and it looks really, really neat the way they organize it and figure it out. And they're very efficient about their things. I am not in UCS. I don't, I didn't really need to be in UCS. I told them uh, when, let, let's backtrack a little bit and explain to you what happened. When the new KVK was announced, I had an account in K2 and I messaged in my Discord asking for any K2 leadership because I wanted my K2 account to get into UCS or anywhere or to FB for a few days so I can pump it up to City Hall 16. Now, granted, it turns out that every other content creator had the same idea, and I, I'm finding all of them in here apparently, but I didn't want to do that. Someone said, "Are you my?" this sounds like a migration thing in Discord, and I was like, huh, maybe I should migrate this account. We talked about it, how I want more action for this account in this video, and this is how we're going to do it. We're officially in Kingdom 2, which had a pretty substantial migration into it. It is awesome. It is officially back into uh, Imperium status. It was not an Imperium kingdom before, but a pretty substantial migration happened here. And some of the peeps that I, I've known and I've met in my past KVK, such as Governor, for example, are now in here. And there's a bunch of other new people. So I'm super, super stoked to be here. Uh, am I going to stay in 2FB or go into UCS? I don't know. I, I really don't. I don't mind either or for me to be in, a, in an active alliance is all that matters. The peeps of 2FB are awesome. I'm sure I'm going to get to hang out in UCS for some time too and go meet those peeps. Um, if they decide they want me in UCS permanently, awesome. If they want me in 2FB permanently, awesome. I'm all for it. I'm super, super, super excited to bring you not only content of the new KVK, but action of the new KVK. 20 kingdoms are in this, 17 have registered, three more to go, and uh, we're, we're gonna get, in, get it kicked off in a day and five hours. For now, we're in the gathering mode and healing mode. Thank you to um, Vor, for, Vor, for, and YN, I don't know how you say her name, my bad man. He hooked me up with a ton of resources, uh, including a bunch of gold. He knows how to win my heart with that gold right there. Uh, and that kind of helped us just to get our feet on the ground, we're about to migrate three farms in here with this account, and we're just gonna blast, 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 and the plan for this is still the same. We're gonna lead rallies with Atel Takeda, improve our equipment, we're still going to focus on getting that Alexander ready to rock and roll. Unfortunately, we have to put a pin on Guan just because I'm not gonna have his wheels available. This is like, this was last year, I guess, for Kingdom, <laughs> Kingdom 2, right? I gotta remember I'm Kingdom 2 now. It's kind of crazy. Um, and so yeah, we're gonna have to put a pin on Guan for a little bit and get our Alex ready to rock and roll. This account is still in shambles, but it'll be good enough to lead rallies, fill rallies, and do whatever it needs. We're still head going head on, getting this equipment better, getting our infantry equipment ready and to rock and roll, and just rebuilding this account to uh, an extent that I think it can get to and have an awesome KVK. So yeah, now we are in Kingdom 2. I'm so stoked. I'm actually really, really, really happy and looking forward to pretty much lose all my troops if we need to for the cause of Kingdom 2 and fight in the new KVK. I, I hope that they'll find a place for my rallies and anywhere I can be of service until Takeda is ready to rock and roll. And uh, we're gonna keep improving the equipment as time goes by and bring you all the latest and greatest events as they come into Kingdom 2. For now, I'm Gecko. I'm out of here. I appreciate every single one of you. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all sooner rather than later. Take care and have a good one. Peace.